everybody. It's Nikki with Homeschool Knockouts. And today we are kicking off our series called March Madness of Flip Throughs. And all that means is that all throughout the month of March, we are flipping through all the curriculum I have in my house. So I have at least 17 to 20 that I want to do, really more, but uh, I want to give myself some grace. So we're starting with writing and rhetoric. So let's go. Okay, guys, I am not doing all of these curriculum flip throughs in any particular order. It's just whatever I grab, I'm recording and uploading. Today, we're going to flip through writing and rhetoric, book five, refutation and confirmation. Now, I don't really have a, a game plan for how I'm going to do the flip throughs. I'll probably refine that as we get through the month. But now, listen, this is not a review. OK, now, if you want a review, then you can go to my curriculum review playlist and check out all my reviews. Now, some of these I have not reviewed yet. I will be doing that. But in the meantime, these flip throughs will help to answer some of your questions about the curriculum. I'm going from cover to cover, okay? Because some of you, you can't get your hands on these books and you really need to see all of everything within the pages to make an informed decision. That's why I'm here. And if this is a long video for you, you can just fast forward it, but I'd rather give you more information, than just a little bit of stingy information. Not like that. All right, let's go. Okay, my lovely people, we have our writing and rhetoric book five, refutation and confirmation books in our hand. To the left, I have the student textbook. To the right is the teacher's edition. I apologize in advance for the glare. Now, I'm going to start with the teacher's edition because really, guys, these books are identical. The teacher's edition really doesn't add that much to it that makes it really that much different from the student text. But let's just start with the student text. Okay. Of course, you have your mandatory child drawings in here. Okay. Table of contents. Okay. Now, each book um, is 12 lessons. Take your look here. And I'm going to minimize the commentary just so these flip throughs are not so long. I just want you to see what it looks like. Okay. And now we move over to the typical teaching week. Here we go. I'm just gonna zoom in on here. And so what I will do as I flip through, I will zoom in post-production. So you can really see what the text is saying. Here's your introduction to the students part. Here is the long introduction. Now I'm just going to keep this here for a second so you can read it yourself. Just let me get everything in focus. Okay, that's the introduction. So I'm just going to give a little bit of commentary at the beginning of the book and then lesson one. Afterward, I'm gonna put it on fast forward with some lovely music just so you can see almost all of the pages without this being a very, very long video. And then I'll pop in every now and then with a little bit of commentary that I feel is essential, okay? So enjoy. And now the content, the meat and potatoes of the program begins. This is lesson one. And now let's start the flip through.
for those of you who are concerned about the religious leanings in this book, this should answer your question whether there are some biblical references throughout the books in this series, but you can now determine whether if it's too much or not a lot, you know, you make the decision. You can't make that decision if you don't see just about every page. Now this book, my oldest child used this book. Now this is the one where he was in sixth grade and I first started him on the program. So we skipped a lot of pages, a lot of sections. Because he was older, he had done a lot of things. So it wasn't necessary for him to do everything. All right, lesson seven. Seven down, four more to go. Well, five more to go. I think, there, yeah, there's 12. Third Refutation, I think that's the last one. Pirate room, pirate women, adapted from Buccaneers and Pirates of Our Coast. So one, one good thing about this program, amongst many things, is that not only is your exposure to um, art, but also to great works of literature, okay? So it's a writing program, it's almost like a literature program, and a little mini art program, okay? Okay. You knew that was coming. All right. Okay. Third confirmation. So I believe there are three reputations and three confirmations, okay? Or stories. Remember, the bolded words are your little vocabulary. So you kind of get a lot in these programs. Vocabulary, grammar, a little bit of art, a little bit of literature, some poetry. Okay, Rip Van Winkle. Okay, so you see when you hit book five, you have a lot. I mean, there are stories throughout, but in one chapter, you'll have many, many stories. Whereas in the earlier books, it's usually one story, a chapter, okay? Okay. okay. All right. And almost there, boys. I mean, and almost there. Okay. And then we have here outlines, outlining your own story map. Elocution, starting to wrap it up and prep you for book six, which is commonplace, okay? Let me give you some speech tips, okay? So we, we've got vocabulary, we've got literature, we've got writing, we've got um, speech, we've got grammar, <clears throat> a lot of things involved in this book. And here's your glossary. And this is great for your children. So now they know the shop talk, right? They know all of this. So when they hit high school, because let me tell you, when my son went to ninth grade in public high school, and it's a top performing school, the first year they go over these terms, okay? And here you have the end of the book, prepping you for the next book, okay? Here it is, and then their advertising pages. 
All right. There's the back. Student book. Now, I'm not really going to flip through the teacher's edition, but I do just want you to see a couple of pages so you can um, see how it different, how much it doesn't differentiate from the student text, okay? So in the beginning of the book, this is not in the uh, the student book. You'll have your te you'll, you'll have teaching reputation and confirmation, okay? Now this is going to be important, okay? So take a look at that. I skipped it because it was folded over so I couldn't really tell what was going on. So sorry about that. Let me unfold it. Okay, so it's gonna um, give you your talking points for how to tackle each section in the lessons, okay? So those are your teacher notes. Here's the rest, okay? Looking under the rest from the crease, but here you have it. Okay. That's what that looks like, okay? And then um, you have this section here. So it's what the icons mean. Okay. And then we can move on. We we'll just start with chapter one. I'll just do a couple of chapters or just, or one. All right. This is the teacher text. So you'll have your shaded box with, um, your objectives for this lesson, your cheat sheet, if you will, and then the lesson. So everything that is shaded is in the teacher text, not the student text, okay? So you have what the right answer is. You'll have some notes, um, some sample um, answers that can be given, okay? So it's essentially the student text, but just the answers um, overlaid on it okay but then when you get toward the end of the chapter um, here are more notes when you get to the end of the chapter you'll have um, some notes some talking points for how to tackle certain parts of that chapter okay so you probably want to look at this well not probably you will want to look at this first before you start teaching just to see you know what they want you to do for a talk about it and any other parts of that lesson okay and then you're on to uh, then any notes you might want to have and then you're on to the next lesson so let's go to um lesson five let's go to lesson six let's go to the middle of the book let's go to lesson six now remember this is not a review i will have a review on this okay this is just so you can see what the books look like and then when i do my review I don't have to spend so long because you can always refer to these videos to see everything within the book, okay? So, some more examples. It's really not much, guys, okay? At the end of the chapter, We have all of our notes okay and more notes but you see how the notes section is getting longer it's getting longer okay now, let's go to the last lesson. In 12, okay? Now, remember, you've seen all of this because it's straight from the student text. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm not going to show you this lesson. We're going to go straight to the chapter after lesson 12. So each book is made up of 12 lessons, but in this book, um, there's like a bonus um, lesson. You'll see here. It, it just says do it yourself. So it's not lesson 13. It's just a bonus, if you will, okay? And so this is, um, and this could be optional if you want, okay? It could be optional, but it's there. And it's just more work so your child can really hone their craft in writing a persuasive essay. Okay. 
okay? And that's what that looks like, what you saw in the, um, the student text. So we'll just fast forward, but let me just show you what the um, teacher notes are, okay? And that's really just a story. Um, so that, those are really just the notes just to get you going with the story, okay? At the very end, you just have your one little final note. And that is it, my friends. That is it. Oh, not quite. Okay, I've never used this, but here it is. And so if you want to use a rubric um, for grading your child's work, um, it is here. Okay. Mm -hmm. rubric and then your advertisement for their um, online classes or their other courses and there's the back and that my good friends concludes our flip through for writing and rhetoric book five reputation and confirmation and there you have it our flip through of writing and rhetoric book five reputation and confirmation now just know if you would like to see a review of this curriculum please check out my curriculum review playlist up ahead up above rather and if you don't see this book in the playlist hang tight it will be there eventually i'm just trying to plow through all of these flip throughs okay i have a whole bunch of stuff for you guys okay so go get lost um, in those videos or in the curriculum review playlist up above all right i love you this is nikki with homeschool knockouts i will see you on the next year bye oh and if you found some value in this video please put a like um and a comment or leave a comment um, on the video. That lets me know that you do find some value in these videos and it makes me want to do more videos for you guys considering my, my shortcomings with filming overhead. So please put a like and share on the video. Let me know you're here and you want more of this. I'll see you on the next year. Bye-bye.